another video on web development with Python. My name is Ronak Vyas and this video is a collaboration with Programming Knowledge. So in the previous video we talked about how we can set up our application, uh, how we have also finished the CRUD operations in our uh, web application, the push-ups logger where you can log push-ups. So today we'll talk about something called as message flashing which uh, I have been delaying for the last couple of videos. So I'll uh, we'll get done with it today. We'll see what it means, how we can use it, and how it benefits our application. So before that, uh, if you want to learn Python, if you want to uh, understand how to write a good resume or a good cover letter, if you want to know how to prepare for software engineering jobs, for placements or internships, then my contact information is in the description, and you can we can have a one-on-one -on -one call where we can discuss all of this. So yeah, now that we have finished that part. Uh, let's see where we were before. So let me start my application. So it was in 5000. Yep. So this is this is where we were. Uh, we had a login sign up. Let's just test it again. So test. Let me see. If, okay. So let's just make another one. So test user testing at gmail.com testing yeah let's sign up let's log in testing at gmail.com and testing let's log in cool so we have logged in and we have we are in our profile section so you can add a lot of things here I haven't I just wanted to show you how we can add our current user information uh, from the database to the page and how login session management works. But you can add a couple of things. You can add the name, the email. Uh, we'll add a forgot password uh, situation later. But for now, this is how it is. So this is our application. Uh, let's add a workout to, see, to make sure that it's perfectly running. So we have our create operation right here. So 20 push-ups did 20 god do a few more tonight add workout and yeah so this is what i was talking about so these flashes which we need to fix we need to change so we need to see why this is occurring what we can do about it and how we can fix them properly and show the right messages here so yeah now that we have it here, let's go to all workouts. Let's go to edit and see if edit is working. So we did 21, did one more update workout. And yep, this is working properly. And delete, post has been deleted, awesome. So yeah, we want to know what all of this was. So simple uh, text which is shown or what operation has been done, but it is officially called as message flashing. So good applications and user interfaces are all about feedback. If the user does not get enough feedback, they will probably end up hitting the application. So if I add a new workout and I don't get information about did my workout actually get added, I can see the workout that you know it has been added, but I also need some dialogue that you know some feedback that yeah, my workout which I have updated has been added or it has been updated or deleted. So Flash provides a really, really simple way to give feedback to a user with the flashing system. So the flashing system basically makes it possible to record a message at the end of a request and access it in the next request and only the next request. This is usually combined with a layout template that does this. Uh, you know, we should make sure that uh, some browsers uh, enforce a limit on the cookie size. So if your message is really, really, really long uh, for a session, then it will cause the flashing to fail, but silently. So you will not know that the flashing has failed, but it will show up when you are actually deploying your application. Oh yeah, by the way, so we will be deploying our application on Heroku uh, so that we also finish the deploying part of our application, uh, the DevOps part a little bit. So yeah, that is gonna be the next video where, how we, where we learn how to deploy our application on the internet. So let's see how flashing works. So let's open the documentation message flashing so 
just let me fix that right now yeah so this is how it looks like so we have a simple documentation where they explain how uh, they flash you were successfully logged in so if a user has logged in then you say you use flash so you import flash and see you so you were successfully logged in and in the layout page we have we use ginger template and with messages we use the get flash messages from the flash uh, import and once you get the messages if there are any messages so sometimes you don't flash anything but you might when you have a post request so there we can have if messages do this and for all the messages list uh, list them out and you have the flashes class provided by again flash so yeah this is how it looks like a simple with uh, statement with if else end with end if and you're done so we have used this in this in our application as well but since i have been ignoring the html part of it for a long time we'll actually get into this so first let's see where do we actually use it where do we actually use flash in our application so first we have our new workout post where we update or add a new workout uh, not update but just add a new workout so we flash that the workout has been added to user workouts so let's see what our user workouts look like so user workouts is all about all workout html right so let's go to all workout html and as you can see with messages get flash messages and if there are any messages then notification is so we just skip this we don't need this class right now or uh, let's just try this one to so class equal to flashes class equal to flashes yep i think we're good to go okay so we don't need that so yeah, l a s h e s h if i'm right yep good to go so yeah now we display all the messages and we end with so we just use this example right here from the documentation we didn't add anything else new here and now that is how we implemented flash in our application and let's see where else we have done that so we have done that in our update workout so whenever there is a post for update workout we show that user that the workout has been updated and same for delete where we show that the post has been deleted so this is how our application works and if we go here you go to add new workout 23 and videos add workout the workout has been added perfect our application shows it perfectly and we go to edit we change it to something else update workout and the workout has been updated same goes for delete so when you click press delete your post has been deleted and you can see that everything has been gone and your flash messages are been shown perfectly so this is how we actually work with message flashing in flask a very simple very common thing which people use for applications which we need to know so in the next video we'll talk about uh, how we can deploy our application to the internet and see how that goes so yeah thank you for watching